السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعزائي طلبة بري بان أو جريد 7 هنتكلم في الفيديو ده عن the deductive proof the deductive proof is not a lesson it's a method to organize your solution of any exercise in geometry all you need all you need to write a perfect solution in geometry are three subtitles the first subtitle is the givens the second subtitle is the required the third subtitle which is the steps of the proof which is the solution and now the givens the givens it means all the available information about this exercise and required required means our target from this exercise and finally the proof which is the steps to find the required which is the target of this exercise there is one helpful conditional step which is the construction and we will see how can we use the construction in the exercise but now let's see how can we apply the three subtitles in the solution in geometry there are two new symbols in geometry in the steps of the proof we need to use these two symbols the first symbol which is three dots in the form of a triangle is called because and the same three steps part upside down we called it there for let's see how can we use the three subtitles to solve any exercise a little exercise in this figure this is a triangle which measure of angle a equal 60 degree measure of angle b equal 70 degree then we need to find measure of angle c the givens which the available information in this exercise is that this figure is a triangle measure of angle A measure of angle B then this is the available information which is the givens and the required the required is the target the target is find the measure of angle C let's see how can we write the proof I will say that because because ABC is a triangle what is the deduction? We deduce that the sum of the three measures of the angles are 180 degrees. It means measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C equal 180 degrees. We have two angles of them. Then we can find the third angle. We can say, therefore, measure of angle C is equal 180 degrees minus the sum of the two given angles, which is 70 plus 60, which is 50 degree. That's how can we write a perfect solution or a perfect proof in geometry from now on. The first example. We knew that any two vertically opposite angles are equal in measure. Let's see how can we prove that. If two straight lines are intersect at a point, then each two VOA, which is the abbreviation of vertically opposite angles, are equal in measure. Let's write the givens, the required, and the steps of the solution, which is the proof. First, the figure. The figure has just two straight lines intersect at one point, which is E. Now, the givens are AB and CD are two straight lines intersect at one point, which is E. Now, the required. We need to prove that measure of angle PED is equal measure of angle AEC that we want to prove let's see how can we write this steps the proof is let's take each, each given and find the deduction from this given the first given is AB is a straight line we can say that because AB is a straight line therefore measure of angle AED plus measure of angle BED is equal to 180 degree now let's see the other straight line in the same way because CD is a straight line what can we deduce therefore measure of angle AED plus measure of angle AEC is equal 180 degree notice what in the first deduction and the second deduction there is an angle in common there is an angle in common which is the angle AED Therefore, measure of angle BED is equal to measure of angle AEC. And that's it, or that's what we want to find 
Kud Ira Demonstrandum QED is a abbreviation of a three Latin words which is Kud Ira Demonstrandum and it means that's it. Now let's see another example. Example two. Another rule we have learned that the sum of the accumulative and at a point their sum is 360 degree. How can I prove that? Let's see the figure and write our steps. The figure has four rays EA, EB, EC, ED. Four rays start from the same point which is E. Now we need to prove that the sum of the four accumulative angles, their sum is 360 degree. Let's write the givens. The givens are AE, EA, EB, EC, ED are four rays start from the same point which is E. That's all the available information. Now let's see the required. The required is find that the sum of the four angles are 360 degree. Let's write the proof. First, before writing the proof, you have to find a relationship between these four angles. You will find nothing. There is no any relationship between these four angles. Just they are only adjacent angles. Then we can't find any measure of any angle of them. So what can we do? That's exactly when we need to make a construction. A construction is an occasional step, which we need in a case like this. Now, what is the construction? The construction is to extend, extend any ray of them to form a straight line. If we have a straight line, we can find some of some angles which are supplementary angles. Now, extend any of them, I choose that to extend the ray EB. Therefore, the construction will be draw the B straight line F passing through the point E. But there is another optional construction you can do to make it easy. Reading or writing the name of the angles make the steps so long. Then we can do an optional construction to make it easy. How can I make it easy? All I will do is that give each angle of them a number. Now we have five angles. Let's name it as angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, and angle 5. And we will use the, this number instead of the real names. Let's do it. Now, because BF is a straight line, therefore measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 equal 180 degree because it's a straight angle. And in the same way, Measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle 4 Also the three angles They are some 180 degree because they together The three angles together Form a straight angle Therefore the sum of the five angles that We need to prove Equal 180 degree plus 180 degree Is equal to 360 degree And could random strandum or that's it Let's see the third example. We knew that the parallelism formed some relationship between the angles. The first relationship, which is the alternative angles, the two alternative angles are equally measured. And the two corresponding angles are equal also measured, but the two interior angles are supplementary, which is their sum 180 degree. These three relationships formed or produced from the parallelism but what if we need to prove the inverse we need to prove the parallelism we need to prove that two straight lines are parallel then we have to prove just one relationship of them two alternative angles equal in measure two corresponding ang angle e angles equal in measure or two interior angles the sum 181 of them is enough to prove that the two straight lines are Parallel, let's see how can we do that. To prove the parallelism, this is the figure. The figure has three straight lines. One of them intersects the, two, the other two. Let's see. The givens are AB and CD are two straight lines. And EF intersects them at X and Y 
respectively. And measure of angle AXE equal measure of angle DYF is equal to 75 degree. Now, the required prove that the straight line AB is parallel to the straight line CD. And let's see how can we prove that. We, prove, we need to prove that two alternative angles equal a measure, two corresponding angles equal a measure, or two interior angles are sum as 180 degree. Let's see. From the first given, AB is a straight line. And EF intersects AB at We have X. two couples of vertically opposite angles. One of them is known, which is 75 degree. Then measure of angle AXE is equal to measure of angle BXY is equal to 75 degree. And that's how can I find this angle. Now, this angle, which is B, B, X, Y, 75 degree, not what? 75 degree, and there is another 75 degree in the bottom. These angles in the position of corresponding angles. These two angles are corresponding, and the two angles are equal. Then we deduce that the two straight lines are parallel. Let's write the steps. Because AB intersects EF at X. Therefore, measure of angle EXA is equal to measure of angle BXY is equal to 75 degree VOA, which is vertically, angle, vertically opposite angles. And now, because measure of angle BXY is equal to measure of angle DYF is equal to 75 degree, and they are corresponding. And that's why, therefore, the straight line AB is parallel to the straight line C, D, and quadrat demonstrandum, or that's it. Now, let's see the last exercise. The last exercise, we have this figure. This figure has two parallel line segments and the measure of two angles. Let's write the givens. The givens, the line segment CD is parallel to the line segment AB. Notice that they are line segment, not straight lines, just like the previous exercises. Measure of angle D is equal 127 degree and measure of angle CBE is equal to 53 degree. What is the required? The required is to, to prove that the line segment AD is parallel to the line segment CB. Let's see how can we, we prove that parallelism. Proving the parallelism, we need two alternative angles equal a measure, two corresponding angles Equally measure or two interior angles are some 181 of the three relationship. Let's see how can we find that. First, using the first given, which is the line segment CD is parallel to the line segment AB. What can we deduce from that parallelism? I would say because the line segment CD is parallel to the line segment AB, therefore measure of angle A equal 180 minus. 127 because they are two interior angles. The two interior angles are some 180 degree. Measure of angle D plus measure of angle A equal 180 degree. One of them is given, then we can find the second. Measure of angle A equal 180 degree minus 127 is equal to 53 degree. Notice what? Notice that this angle, which is angle A, is equal to measure of angle CBE and there. Position is corresponding. The letter F. This angle and this angle, the two angles are corresponding and the two angles are equal measures. Then the two line segments are parallel. And therefore, we can say because measure of angle A is equal measure of angle C, B, E is equal 53 degree and they are corresponding, then the line segment AD is parallel to the line segment. CP ودلوقتي احنا خلصنا الدرس البسيط ده احنا قلنا في الاول ان هو مش درس اصلا هو عباره عن تنظيم بس لخطوات حلك عشان تطلع بيرفكت سوليوشن ان جيومتري من هنا الفتره الجايه اتمنى اكون ان افدتكم في في الفيديو ده وان شاء الله هنكمل الجيومتري الفتره اللي جايه وناخد ازاي نكتب برضو الديدكتيف بروف بشكل كبير خالص وانت برضو اللي هتحدد ده والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته